Six NBA players who are in a gang. Subscribe to the channel and comment down below saying I subscribe, turn to smudge, shout out, giveaway. Many NBA players have been linked with a large number of gangs and today we are talking about the most notorious cases given the fact that they're perhaps the most famous ballers that have gone through something like this. These are six players with possible gang ties. Monta Ellis. The Mississippi native counts with tattoos that looks very suspicious in the eyes of many. Ellis has two tattoos on each arm. On the right one he has a GD and on the left he has a six pointed star. These two tats are obvious references to the Gangster Disciples gang that is still active in the native state of Ellis, Mississippi. Monta Ellis has GD tattooed on his right arm and a six pointed star on his left. These are very likely references to the Gangster Disciples, a criminal gang that originated in South Chicago in the 1960s and is active in Monta's native Mississippi. The six pointed star represents the gang's principles, love, life, loyalty, knowledge, wisdom, understanding. There have been a lot of comments on this but Monta has never addressed the situation as if it's much to say on this. Um, it was weird at first but I think we came out with a lot of energy at the beginning of the game. Steven Jackson. Back in the day Jackson used to wear a lot of red while on the court and he even admitted it was for a specific reason in 2005 in an interview with ESPN. He told Michael Smith details of his life and how he got involved with these people. In a 2005 interview with ESPN's Michael Smith, Steven Jackson admitted that he wore a lot of red off the court for a reason because he has long been associated with the blood street gang. I was raised like that, he said. All my friends, I don't trip on nobody with no blue rag, but at the same time, it's what I represent. It's what I've represented since I was nine years old. All my friends in the neighborhood, it was just inherited. I ain't banging them. He admits he was looking for the easy way out, although that lifestyle sounds like it turned out to be tough as hell. I'd be lying to you if I told you I didn't take that route. Everybody's selling drugs and everybody's hanging out, said Jackson, who said his older brother, Donald Buckner, was beaten to death when Jackson Jackson was 15. Jackson even admitted his brother was beaten to death when he was younger, a chapter of his life that definitely marked him. Drugs, guns and the usual things on this topic are the summary of Jackson's testimony. Zach Randolph. Randolph's case is one of the most famous in the league in recent years. Zebo was visited by MTV Cribs several years ago inside his house. We could see various items with elusive images to the Gangster Disciples gang. Randolph has been involved in several scandals related to gangs, drugs and guns. Not only was a pool table with a Gangster Disciples logo spotted in Zach Randolph's house on MTV Cribs. He also reportedly has a tight-knit group of friends in Portland known as the Hoop Family. The Hoop Family has been investigated numerous times for murder, gun infractions and possession and distribution of drugs. It is reported that when Sebastian Telfair was arrested for the possession of an AK-47, he stated that he was using it to protect himself after threats from the Hoop Family. He was linked with the Portland gang known as the Hoop Family. This group has been investigated by several crimes such as murder and even drug possession and distribution. Karen Butler. Karen Butler's journey hasn't been easy as the small forward didn't have the best childhood or adolescence as he got into a lot of troubles during these years. Karen Butler's life story is all about escaping the pitfalls of the streets. Before he played his college ball at UConn, he was arrested 15 different times including an instance where he was caught in school with an unloaded gun and a small amount of cocaine. During his first week at home for troubled youth, he found himself in solitary confinement after assaulting a rival gang member. As we all know, Butler turned his life around and had a solid NBA career with a top 10 draft pick, two all-star appearances and a championship title with Mavericks in 2011. He was known how to overcome the bad situations in their life and had a very good run in the NBA. He was arrested more than 10 times before playing ball at UConn. Butler even was caught with an unloaded gun and cocaine during his school days. Although he was arrested, he managed to assault a rival gang member. Luckily for him, he he found the light in basketball, putting good numbers on the sheet and even winning an NBA championship. My life it changed everything. It was a uh a decision that really altered. Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo was linked with several gang members over 13 years ago. After many tapes were released during a stop snitching campaign, this campaign was launched by local Baltimore gangs in order to get people to stop helping the police with their investigations. In 2004, a campaign was launched in Baltimore called Stop Snitching, in which local Baltimore gangs urged the public to not cooperate with the police and under no circumstances release information about crimes. The Stop Snitching campaign was later promoted in the form of the DVD. 
Blade, in which numerous high profile gang members appeared. During the video, Carmelo Anthony is seen numerous times with some of the most famous gang members on the DVD. It's in a lake somewhere, refers to Carmelo's bronze medal from the 2004 Olympics. Well, after the campaign took a new level and some tapes were released, we were able to see Carmelo Anthony appearing in some of these videos, hanging with some of the most famous gang members at the time. Marquise Daniels, he played in the NBA from 2003 to 2013, has made a solid career for himself. Though Daniels has never formally admitted to being in a gang, numerous photos exist of him on the internet holding a red bandana and throwing up blood signs. It is also reported that Daniels refuses to write the letter C and rather replaces it with K's, which is common among those affiliated with the blood gang. This brings us to the end of our video, I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.